All are ready. Are you ready to start computer organization and architecture marathon? Yes. After the digital logic, today we are going to do the computer architecture. Yes, the computer architecture, everything I am going to cover now. Today it's my target to cover the computer organization and architecture. Because exam is coming, yes, good evening, exam is coming and now it's the time to do all the revision, revision, revision. Marathon, marathon class, everyone prefer to do the marathon class. So I also decided, okay, chalo, to phir marathon hi kar lete. All are ready for the marathon, everyone is ready. Yes, okay, good, very good. Everything we are going to cover here, computer organization, all, all the topics, everything everything will be here yeah, as you know in the syllabus what are the there in the syllabus and from where questions are coming uh, the basic to advance the computer organization means the basic questions are also coming advanced questions are also coming in the basic questions here are register transfer memory you need memory you need memory organization design programming basic this all are the topics are here mm, but my pain is not writing why just wait one minute yes so these are the syllabus you can see in the syllabus this is a very important syllabus here computer basic organization computer basic computer here micro program control unit here central processing unit pipeline and vector input output organization memory hierarchy multiprocessor these are all the topic and from my memory hierarchy every time always it is not only for computer architecture even also it is required for your uh, paper one also right it is a common common area from where means any any basic questions also in general knowledge type questions also they are asking if in your exam ICT is there then definitely this topic questions are coming so we will start from the basic after that I will go for next level all the topic I will try to cover that's why I came in this time and why I am not able to take the 3 p.m. class, some students are um, asking me, yes, 3 p.m., 3 p.m., 3 p.m. class, actually my daughter is sick, she is feeling, she is uh, suffering from fever, cold, cough, and now she is in home, that's why I am not able to take the 3 p.m. class, that's why I thought, okay, at 5 p.m. I will come live and I will take a marathon so that one subject, one topic will be covered, okay, that's why, that's why I am not able to come live, that's why I am not able to interact with you that is the problem so whenever everything will be fine then again i can uh, start 3 pm and 6 6 30 as per the requirement i can do it no problem at all and as you know 45 days this is 45 days crash course is going on here i am trying to cover everything already 45 sessions i covered 45 days i told 45 days but in 45 days my target was that if required i will take two sessions also i was taking two sessions whenever i am free i will take two sessions also i give the name as 45 days so that it's not like that one session it was two sessions also already 45 session i cover remaining sessions also going to be covered these all that all the classes will be there in the 45 days crash course they are in this youtube channel only those who did not watch those who are new to this channel definitely watch that classes if you are preparing for any exam any exam whatever preparation you are doing for any exam it will be very good your computer science all the important topic will be there in this playlist must check out this playlist and must connect it with us subscribe to the channel click the bell icon okay so let's start first of all under computer architecture this is the structure of computer architecture where cpu will be there ram read only memory rom input output system bus power supply these are the basic units are there in computer right in the basic units whenever you are working on the basic units then you have to remember something it is actually a structure right in a desktop whenever you are thinking about the desktop this is the structure of the desktop where mouse keyboard and all are there you can visualize it ultimately we have to do operation here ultimately we will uh, open it we will zoom this part and we will see that what is going on here under this under this machine under the machine there is a motherboard right this motherboard is working it is the ultimately heart of the machine 
from where all the processing is going on in this motherboard only you can see the C the central processing unit is there ram is there graphics card is there total chips all the registers are there chips are there everyone is everything is working here other than that hard disks and floppy disks cd drive this and you can visualize right here there is some power unit also there will be one power unit also other than that here the buses what is that you have to visualize what you have to visualize from here you can connect this is the connection of mouse this is the connection of usb port here serial port here parallel port through which you are able to connect you are connecting your uh, all the devices like monitor keyboard and your usb port everything how you are connecting because in the machine to everything is going on but whenever you are giving input output you are trying to see it then you have to connect with the cpu right so how to connect with the cpu through this port there will be the port through the port we are connecting now here is my cpu and memory these are the main devices io controls input output controls and the external storage there will be the external storage also right now here addresses and data bus address bus and data bus what is work of the address bus how address bus data bus is working address bus is sending the addresses and data bus is sending the data right so here you can see the uh, main under the processor registers will be there and there will be the combinational logic gates that we logic circuit that we learn in digital logic already our digital logic marathon is done those who did not watch that digital logic marathon must watch that must complete it okay so it is your combinational logic circuit here the control unit here the memory unit from here you are taking input and you are giving output ultimately your processing is going on in this way okay so register will be always attached with the cpu remember that in the memory unit whenever you will come to the memory unit then register is the fastest memory unit register is the fastest memory unit don't do the mistake that cache most of the time students are doing mistake with the cache cache is not register is the fastest memory unit which is attached inside the cpu inbuilt it is inbuilt memory okay there are some general purpose register there are some special purpose registers also special purpose register for the purpose of computer computer can use it general purpose register you can use user can use to store their data and to um, to do any work okay but this is always uh, always be specific means you cannot add as per your requirement you cannot increase the size as per your requirement it is always static and it is always fixed as per the configuration you will get this many register more than that is not possible but register is the basic device basic memory unit and very fastest memory unit remember that now you can see here the data bus and address bus and control bus three types of buses are there in computer data bus address bus control bus what are the work why where why these are required bus means your road bus in the road bus is going on right bus means that is the road that is the path through which you are sending data you are sending address you are sending control my computer is sending everything that is called bus okay so here different types of buses we will work what are the different types of buses and it is one way or two way that we will discuss other than that here you can see cpu is always connecting with the memory because whatever data you are working cpu is working whatever data i have to save that will be in memory only so instruction will go like i want to do a operation a plus b now a b i have to take from memory after that the result also i have to save in memory right so that's why data also i have to collect and i have to give the instruction to memory also 
so cpu is always connected with memory for any operation you you cpu have to take the data from memory now there are some devices also good evening good evening there are some devices also here the device is doing io input output request device means input output devices can be there like keyboard mouse uh, your um, other all all the devices can be there here also you can take the data you can send the data interrupt interrupt is a very important part like that i am taking class everyone is coming good evening good evening good evening here whenever you, maybe you are asking ma'am i am not able to understand this ma'am here please repeat once these are the interrupt right some process is going on some work is going on in between you are asking something you are trying to say something then that is the interrupt so interrupt is that when cpu is working but in between some signal go it is a special type of signal that no i need this one this is a interrupt and interrupt is a very important part of computer here different types of interrupt we have to learn high priority interrupt low priority interrupt mask maskable interrupt non maskable interrupt where cpu will take it where it will not allow and um, vector interrupt non vector interrupt so many types of interrupts are there that we have to work on that also it is very very important questions are coming from here and basic concept of interrupt is this dma from here also questions are coming direct max um, direct memory access what is the meaning here you can see normally memory access is done through the cpu device will request to cpu cpu will will request to memory again from memory it will come to cpu cpu will send it to the devices but whenever you are doing bypass here it is a bypass surgery device wants to take some data from memory it will bypass the cpu bypassing the cpu directly through the direct memory access it can access the memory that's why it is the dma where cpu will not play the role directly device can connect with memory it can take the data from memory and memory can also send it to the device this is the bypass system is going on and that's why it is called direct memory access is that clear yes now you can see in von neumann architecture what was the basic architecture of of computer first basic architecture of the computer right this is the modern computer and however the practice where there will be the addressable memory unit hold both the instruction and data and arithmetic logic unit should be there and the program counter also should be there these are the three most important part these are the three most important part okay in the von neumann architecture now we will go in detail more so here what is the cpu cpu is central processing unit where each and every it is the main engine it is your brain of the computer where all the processing is going on brain arithmetic logic unit in the brain also there is the pituitary pituitary is your main gland in the brain right so there is pituitary pituitary is the arithmetic logic unit where always all the arithmetic operation is going on that is the arithmetic logic unit part of the cpu execute individual instruction involving data with operand where it is doing all the mathematical calculation register that's now i told register will be always in the memory location and is fixed according to register size 64 bit machine 32 bit machine according to bit whatever capacity your register capacity will be also that program counter very very important these are very very important questions are coming from here although i am telling like a story but don't take it ki it is not required program counter what is going on with program counter program counter will always store the address of the next instruction program counter is 
holding the address of the next instruction then what the purpose of instruction register instruction register is holding the current instruction to be executed very careful write down this in your notebook very very important write it down in your notebook otherwise most of the time students are doing mistake the difference between when the matching will come you will be confused you will be confused that's why remember it accumulator just now i told accumulator means here what is accumulator accumulator means whatever operation is going on in alu when we will do the Uh, programming 8085 8086 programming then this concept will be required whatever operation you are doing you it will be stored into the accumulator it is holding the result of the operation whatever result you are getting the result will be stored into the accumulator it is the special purpose register ac sometimes it will be written like that it is the special purpose register valve what always storing the result okay register file that is the collection of several register here there will be some special purpose register general purpose register there are some general purpose register it is a collection of those register that is called register file now you can see here how a instruction is going on it is a very easy example through the example you can then understand actually how it will be working how the instruction is going on you can see this is the program it is the it is the machine language assembly language how we are writing the program here you can see load r3 comma b means in the r3 i am loading the data load r4 comma c in r4 i will load the data okay add r3 comma r4 now i will add r3 and r4 together then i will store it then i will store it into r3 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 will be stored to a this is going on here so here there are whenever the instruction will be always converted to 0 1 0 you can think although i am writing in this compiler class everything will be now attached together in the class of compiler i told right assembly language will be converted then after that ultimately it will be converted to binary so you are writing a assembly language but ultimately it is converted to binary and how the execution is going on you can see each and every instruction is stored into the memory this is a memory location this is the memory location all the one by one memory location it is storing right now program counter is holding the address of the memory location means which one i am going to execute next current instruction is this one but the next instruction is 3050 in that location that's why program counter is holding the address of the this instruction now you can see after 50 ma'am why 5a54 is it not coming to your mind 3046 after that so it will be 47 instead of 47 why it is 50 in after 50 it should be 51 but without 51 why it is 54 after 54 it should be 55 but without 55 why it is 58 do you know why why there is a gap and can you relate the gap what is the meaning of the gap are you able to relate why why it is not in a sequence 46 47 45 40 47 48 49 i can write right but here you can see it is written like that 46 then 50 then 54 uh, then 58 what is the meaning why it is written like that can you tell me why tell me why i want to know in the chat box who can tell me exactly why who can tell me and i need the charger one minute
ओके इंटीजर टेक्स फोर बिट इंटीजर टेक्स फोर बाइट इज इट इज इट फॉर दैट इज दिस फोर बिट फोर बाइट इंटीजर डेटा अच्छा इज इट इज इट डिपेंडिंग ऑन इंटीजर डेटा इज इट डिपेंडिंग ऑन इंटीजर डेटा Is it depending on integer data? Here, so I am storing load eight three R three comma B. Is it depending on integer? Is it depending on integer? No. Here actually it's depend on the address. Now we will do the maths also. That it will be given to you. The machine is byte addressable. Machine is byte addressable. Machine is sixteen uh, bit nibble addressable. Normally machine will be byte addressable. One byte means actually eight bit. One byte means eight bit. Okay. The difference of four 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 means you can think like that four 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 difference because it is taking the address in each and every address it is storing the data that's why difference is four 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 which data it is storing here a instruction each and every instruction have three part you can see it is have three part one is the load. that is the operation part then after that r3 that is one operand then b that is another operand so to save the data it has to see it had to save right if it is saving that data load it is converted into some binary after that r3 will be converted in a binary number b will be converted in the binary number to store that to store that some some space is allocated right to store that some space is allocated like in array whenever you are starting with 2000 if you are taking two byte space then next is coming 2002 right so here it is taking what four byte space each and every address is four byte four byte means 4 into 8 that is 32 bit This is actually 32 bit. Each and every address is allocated as 32 bit. It is machine configuration. It is depending on the configuration of the machine that each and every address will be allocated how much space. This each and every address is allocating you four byte space. That's why the difference is this. That's why everywhere you can see the difference four 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 four. Got it, got it. Normally, machine is byte addressable. Now, how many bytes is allocated here? That is here. It is given this many bytes. Okay. So the concept should be clear. And whenever the instruction is going on, then it is fetch, decode, and execute. Means this is the instruction cycle. First, you have to fetch the instruction. then you have to decode the instruction that is machine is decoding the instruction then it is executing so you wrote this one think is as a compiler in the compiler you learned that load it that is the loader loader for loading the instruction after loading the instruction it will be decoded decoded means it will be converted to the binary code now after that it will be execute and for that no not always it's depending on the machine it can be 2 byte it can be 1 byte it can be 4 byte it's depending machine is 8 bit machine is 16 bit machine is 32 bit that is depending on the machine your machine is 8 bit means it is only 1 byte each and every address can can give you 1 byte machine is 16 bit machine 16 bit machine means each and every address can be um, two byte machine is 32 bit that is each and every address is four byte machine is 64 then it is more it is depending on the machine configuration each and every address will be but how much space will be there in each and every address got it 
clear this concept is clear to everyone so this is the instruction cycle fetch execute and uh, decode fetch decode execute and you can see here how the arithmetic logic unit is working whenever you are taking you will have to take the right operand and left operand separately then after that it is doing the operation after doing operation it will be stored again this is the way how AL will work because arithmetic logic unit have to do the operation right it will do the operation like this way now inside the ram inside the memory there are two types of memory one is ram another is rom there is ram also and rom also but ram is what ram is always random access memory and it is the volatile memory means at the time of working only it can work after that it will forget when machine is on the work is going on ram is on randomly memory access is going on whenever machine is off then ram will forget everything and that is the meaning of volatile but ram is the very faster very fast but the space is very low in the ram space is very less but speed is very fast that's why ultimately you are storing everything into the secondary memory from the secondary memory whenever execution is required it will be loaded to the main memory that is in ram at that time it will be loaded in ram then it will be executed every time it will be refreshed and it will come to the ram okay and in cpu as i told here these are the devices and all now you can see this is the complete structure under the processor yes under the processor here alu general register instruction decoder control unit bus interface memory add a address decoder peripheral logic address decoder all are working like this here these are the two pin hold and uh, hold acknowledgement it is send the acknowledgement but control bus data bus address bus these are also there high go mati high these are also there intr inta these are the interrupt intr is a interrupt request inta means interrupt acknowledgement whenever cpu is acknowledging the interrupt then it will be interrupt acknowledgement overview of the total architecture has to be clear okay okay instruction i was not telling about instruction i was telling about the address nirosha i was not telling about the instruction instruction is 2 byte or 3 byte that is not the concern concern is address okay nirosha you are asking about instruction i am not telling you instruction this is the of code then after that two that is definitely three but i was telling about address each and every address was four byte each and every address was four byte that's why the difference was four i'm not telling about instruction okay theek hai recipes corner aaj kya recipe banaye hai aap bataiye मुझे भी थोड़ा भेजिए रेसिपीज कॉर्नर रेसिपी रेसिपी थोड़ा भेजिए मुझे भी चलो सो हेयर जस्ट जोकिंग डोंट टेक इट अदरवाइज हेयर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर कंप्लीटेड नो नॉट कंप्लीटेड डेटा स्ट्रक्चर तो कंप्लीटेड एल्गोरिदम सम टॉपिक्स आर रिमेनिंग टिल नाउ बट आई एम नॉट एबल टू टेक टू क्लासेस दैट्स वाई COA is going on. <coughs> Whenever I will take, however I will get the time, I will take two classes. I will complete it. Mostly, most of the topics are complete. Algorithm, some topics are important uh, remaining. Okay, and MAR, MDR, memory address register, memory buffer register. Memory address register means it is stored the address, stored the address. Memory buffer register means it's being to send whatever you have to send. then it will be in the buffer and it is always bi directional data bus this is very very important 
accumulator accumulator i already told it is storing the data program counter holding the next instruction uh, address instruction register current instruction here uh, stack pointer stack pointer is stack is the special memory where it is using for the recursion purpose and always stack pointer is holding the address of the top it will always hold the address of the top top location that is the purpose of the stack pointer it's connected to the internal address bus used to hold the address of special chunk of memory that is in the temporary storage and always it will hold the top okay now you can see that here the control bus what is going on through the control bus control bus is responsible for executing all the control like flag or control signal this will be the main purpose okay of the control unit this is the main purpose of the control unit here i am going to more detail here address bus from here questions are coming address bus will be always unidirectional why it is unidirectional because data flow is from one direction who will send the address it will be given from the microprocessor to the memory always it is going from microprocessor to the memory and that's why address bus will be always unidirectional okay and now the data bus data bus will be always bidirectional because from the microprocessor it will go to the it will it can send the data it can receive the data also and that's why here data bus will be bidirectional definitely data bus will be bidirectional okay next one is the control bus control bus i told here that used to generate the timing and control signal what will be and it will be also unidirectional or bidirectional tell me what do you think control bus is unidirectional or bidirectional control bus is unidirectional or bidirectional tell me because i have to send the signal i have to receive the signal also right so definitely control bus will be also bidirectional control bus will be also bidirectional it will send and it will receive right signal signal will be carried and signal will be received also that's why it will be always bidirectional okay so only yes now the next one next one is here you can see the basic these are the all things we already did now here for the numerical this is very very important part this is very 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 important part for the numerical in computer architecture there will be numerical you cannot ignore the numerical of the computer architecture and that's why this is very 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 important one byte means 8 bit the basic unit is bit after that byte then kilobyte 2 to the power 10 is 1 kilobyte 2 to the power 20 is 1 megabyte 2 to the power 30 is 1 gigabyte 2 to the power 40 is 1 terabyte at least till this to very very important after that if you can remember that's fine if you are not able to remember that is also okay but at least these four are very 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 important must remember it and each and every one 2 to the power 10 means each and every one is actually 1024 that's why it is 1024 byte this is 1024 kilobyte this is 1024 megabyte just you are comparing with the previous one okay so this is very important i am going to ask you question you have to answer now tell me what will be the answer for this tell me what will be the answer for this i can see those who are replying those who are here navia acha i will call call your name let me see those who are here until now those who are watching 
प्लीज लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एक लाइक तो बनता है यार लाइक तो कर दो आई विल कॉल योर नेम टेल मी हु कैन गिव मी द फास्ट आंसर हु कैन गिव मी जस्ट नाउ आई टोल्ड राइट बाईट एड्रेसबल द नंबर ऑफ एड्रेस लाइन विल बी येस आई कैन सी दैट रेनू अमू मुनीरा रेनू अम्मू मुनीरा निवेदिता खातू सरकार प्रतिभा केशव भुवना लक्ष्मी लक्ष्मी राणा टू लक्ष्मी इज देयर विजय लक्ष्मी एंड रश्मी राणा भवानी अश्विनी मधुमिता किशोरी ये सॉल आर गिविंग आंसर थर्टी वन इज द करेक्ट आंसर डेफिनेटली वाई टू जी बी टू जी बी हाउ टू डू टू टू दी पावर वन मल्टीप्लाई इन टू 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 दी पावर थर्टी दैट इज टू टू दी पावर थर्टी वन योर मेमोरी कंप्यूटर हैज टू जी बी बाइट एड्रेसेबल मेमोरी जस्ट नाउ आई वॉज टेलिंग राइट इट इज डिपेंडिंग ऑन द मेमोरी कैपेसिटी मेमोरी कैपेसिटी इज हेयर गिवेन टू जी बी so here that's why they are asking the number of address line how many address lines are there as this is 2 gb always memory you have to convert into 2 to the power n format and n will be your number of lines the number of address line will be this n this from this n only you can get the number of address line okay so this is the answer that's why your answer will be 31 clear 31 is your answer so now tell me what will be the answer for this one consider a 1 mb byte addressable memory system with word size 32 bit the number of bit in mar and mdr will be what what will be the answer mar and mbr memory address register memory buffer register what will be the answer मून अम्मू प्रतिभा आंसर आर कमिंग यस सो एम ए आर जस्ट नाउ आई टू ओल्ड एम ए आर इज द मेमोरी एड्रेस रजिस्टर एम डी आर इज द मेमोरी डेटा रजिस्टर राइट एड्रेस रजिस्टर एंड डेटा रजिस्टर सो एम ए आर विल रिक्वायर ट्वेंटी बीट एंड एम डी आर विल रिक्वायर थर्टी टू बीट थर्टी टू बीट दैट्स वाई वाई इट इज वाई here the solution here why it is you can see 1 mb 1 mb means 2 to the power 20 right 1 mb means 2 to the power 20 from here i can get 20 i told you 2 to the power whatever here that is your number of addressable right so here it is given size word size is 32 directly you can take whenever it will be in the cross format right m cross n in that format also sometimes it can be given here you have to convert it into 2 to the power format you have to convert it and this will be your number of address addresses but the data will be same because data to that is only i am sending right word size is 32 bit so ultimately 32 bit data only i have to send and that's why my data bus will be mdr will be directly 32 but mar we will convert into to the power because why these are the number of addresses now to store the number of addresses how many bits are required if i have to represent eight address eight address means 0 to 7 how many bits are required 0 0 0 001 like that 1 1 1 so seven i can represent as 1 1 1 so how many bits are required three bit that is the that is the main reason 
I am storing this number. How to store? Using this way. To store the number, how many bits are required? That is depending on log value. Log value means this one if you are converting in 2 to the power. The power will be your the size of the address. Line, size not the number of line in the address. Okay. That's why your answer will be number of bit into the MAR. That is 20. And MDR is 32. Is that clear to everyone? Yes. Is this clear? Okay. Good everyone. Now go to the next. Tell me the next. What will be the answer? Yes, I can see that answers are coming. Okay. Madhumita, Nivedita, Ammu, uh, Bhavani, Keshav, Ashwini, Lakshmi, Navya, Full Moon, Renu. All are giving answer. Yes, the answers you are giving option C. Yes, option C will be the correct answer. Very good. 16m multiply into 32. 16m means 16mb. 2 to the power 4 is 16. Then 2 to the power 20. That is actually 16m. So this is 2 to the power 24. Right. This is actually 2 to the power 24. So from here I am getting 24 is the address. And 32 will be same as it is. 32 there is no changes. So that's why how many addresses are there? That is 24. And the data lines will be directly 32. So answer will be this one. Clear everyone? Very good. All of you are doing correct. So now I am going to the instruction format. Okay. Yes. Now the next topic is instruction format. In the instruction format. Instruction format is divided into two part. That is opcode and the address field. Opcode and the address field. Two types are there. Opcode means here whenever operation that is the add, multiplication, division, move, copy, all the instruction, whatever instruction that is called the opcode. Address field means from where I have to take the data. That is the address field from where I have to take the data. Right. Now the instruction format can be three types. 0 address, 1 address, 2 address and 3 address. 4 types are possible. Okay. So here how, how we are dividing this instruction address in different different part. How it is possible. Here there is the 0 address instruction. You can see why the how the name are coming. Name is coming that at a time. At a time, how many extra address it is using for executing this operation? I have to execute the instruction. For that instruction, at a time, how many extra address you are using? Using the stack, actually no extra address are required. Because stack will work on in the top. Do not use any address field and it's evaluate the expression first then convert the reverse police rotation because we did it in the data structure. The post fix expression right the post fix expression how to do using stack that we did. So here that's why the expression will be changed to post fix operation and after that how it will be done. A will be inserted into the stack. B will be inserted into the stack. Whenever plus is done, then they both will be popped together. After that, it will do the operation of AB. Then it will save the answer of AB here. 
then after that after that next one cd will be pushed c and d then again it will be popped and in that way it is going on that we learn in the data structure so here any extra operation is any extra address is not required and that's why it is called zero address instruction no extra address required for executing okay next one you can see so it is a zero address instruction how this is going on that is you know already those who did not watch the see that it is a sequence okay i i always uh, make a course with the sequence as you can see here whenever you are learning computer architecture here your data structure concept your compiler concept all are together all are merged together directly if you are coming to learn any subject then it will be little bit problematic for you because you need the previous idea also and that's why i cover those subject then i have started computer architecture there is a sequence there is a sequence in how to learn computer science directly you cannot learn it's not possible every subject is related that's why i am doing computer architecture now after that whenever we will do uh, operating system networking now they are related in this computer architecture so before doing computer architecture you cannot do networking and operating system because each and every concepts are very very related between each other okay that's why so here one address one address means here at a time i will use one extra address that is you can see op code is here automatically but the operand or address of the operand will be there that is the extra one how same operation i am doing you can see a plus b c plus d now every time i am using one address a now you will tell me ma'am i use a also b also c also t also you are telling only one address only one address means at a time whenever you are executing this operation at that time how many memory you use that is only memory a whenever you are executing this one at that time how many extra memory you are using mb now you will see ma'am ac that is also ac is accumulator that is the special purpose register and it will be by default it will be there it will be not counted as a extra memory because accumulator is the special purpose and it is de dedicated for your operation so we will not count the accumulator we will count only the extra memory we are using each and every operation that's why you can see here mt mc md mt mx at a time each and every instruction using one extra memory that's why it is called one address instruction is this clear why it is one address instruction is this clear to everyone yes clear right clear clear okay now the next one two address two address means you can see one destination one source there will be one source one destination here are four here you can see two address instruction so two address means at a time i will use two addresses at a time you can see one register one memory it is not the special purpose register r1 r2 these are the general purpose register previously i use accumulator that was specially dedicated one so it is not but r1 r2 is the general purpose register here and memory is the memory there are two type of storage in computer remember that one storage is register set another storage is memory okay two types of storage register set is this one like r1 r2 memory means it will be stored as a address each and every memory have a specific address you have to access through the address if you are using register then the register name 
so that is the name here r1 r2 at a time you are using 2 here also at a time you are using 2 at a time you are using 2 here right so everywhere you are using 2 but you can see i am storing this r2 plus b into r2 itself because i cannot use any extra one here also r1 r2 i am storing in r1 itself because i have at a time two memory i can use two memory means it can be register also okay so that's why it is the two address instruction at a time two address are using here next one whenever i am coming to three address instruction whenever you are going for the next that is the three address instruction here destination and two source two source is there one destination is there here you can see there is the ma mb two sources i am using one destination so at a time three addresses i am using that's why it is called three address instruction you can see this operation i was doing in three address instruction only three lines are enough whenever you have more addresses number of lines are less number of steps are less within less step only i can complete it because i have more number of memory previously it was this many steps before that the number of steps was more right because memory is less whenever your capacity is less you need to do so many steps whenever your capacity is more then less time you can do so always remember in your home also whenever you are using using lots of resources together then your work will be faster so to save your time and to work fast always in your kitchen try to use more number of burners and more number of things so that uh, so that it will be easy always i am telling you that if you can manage then always try to use a three burner oven if you are using a three burner oven at a time you can cook three three things together so your time will be safe but if you are using normal two burner oven then this extra one will take extra time normally in our regular life if i am using three burner three dishes together it's done right rice curry sambar or whatever you are using right normally we are using rice fish and one sabji so whatever whatever normally it is possible that is time will be faster now your your work will be faster right always try to use more number of resources so that within less time uh, less step you can do it okay yes so always relate relate your life with your computer computer how it is working because computer can work like this way yes clear clear instruction set is clear to everyone instruction set is clear to everyone yes today i will cover your all the concept each and every concept will be covered acha i i was talking for a long time can i ask a question you very easy easy some question can i ask you acha tell me tell me what is the answer for this one now i want to see all of you are giving correct answer or not i want to see that all of you are giving correct answer or not tell me ओके 
यस आंसर्स आर कमिंग वेरी गुड भुवनेश्वरी भुवना ईश्वरी नविया किशोरी लक्ष्मी प्रिया तमिल अखिला यस ऑल आर गिविंग द आंसर ऑप्शन टू ऑप्शन टू ऑप्शन टू वेरी गुड रजिस्टर इज द करेक्ट आंसर वेरी गुड बिकॉज हेयर यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दिस अकॉर्डिंग टू स्पीड डिक्रीज द स्पीड and according to this increasing when speed is decreasing size is increasing and cost is decreasing very very important chart for you remember this chart this this questions this area for your ict for your ict also it is important very very important register then cache then memory then secondary memory then external memory very 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 important remember it okay yes and so can you tell me this answer the memory size of n addresses line and m data line is given by how to represent those who are watching please like share subscribe this three is very very important i can see till now those who are watching you forgot to click on like button definitely you can click click on like button right you don't like it you don't like it okay answer sir coming very good option 3 is the correct answer very good acha now i am going back again to the now i am going back again and e, as you can see here this is the all collection of pyqs just i am showing you all the collections of pyqs from june 2023 to total 18th total 18 2018 all subject wise topic wise questions collections and everything if you want to do like this till 2018 every all the questions are here you can see all the question and with me i prepared everything for each and every subject these are there each and every subject each and every unit from 2023 june to 2018 all the questions and not only this question with that if you want to do the more question expected question some from different different area set question paper gate question paper phd entrance from different different area after doing pyqs if you want to do with us then definitely you can join the pet course here the pet course is available for you you can go to the pet course you can see that the combo batch paper 1 paper 2 i will suggest everyone if you are thinking that i want to take paper 1 paper 2 then definitely go for combo batch or if you think that no i will go for only paper 2 then you can go for paper 2 2000 because whenever you are taking this combo batch this both will be available to you some of the students are there are those who took 1000 rupees or 2000 rupees previously two days back now they are asking ma'am i want to do another one is there any offer no whenever you are taking decision then only to take your decision i will go for both or i will go for single one okay theek hai i will go for both or i will go for single one that is that is here that is required okay so 2500 here you have to go for it if you are paper one paper two if you are going for paper two then only 2000 that is okay but it will be till the end of november the course is already going on every day 5:30 am i am taking class weekly i am taking normally six classes one classes i am not taking either saturday or sunday i am giving you doubt clearing session monday to friday normal session is going on here you are getting practice pdf concept and test series after the test series we are coming here now the PYQS test series available for everyone. You can go for the free mock test. Here the free mock test for UGC net PYQS all are available. You can attempt it definitely. Questions are available for you, but the answer concept if you want to do, then definitely you can go for this pet course. Okay, ठीक है, 
ठीक है चलो चलो नाउ डू दिस वन नाउ वी हैव टू गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट हमको पैसा कमाना है पैसा कमाने के लिए पहले नॉलेज गैदर करना है ठीक है ये ही पैसा कमाने का सबसे इजी तरीका है सबसे इजी तरीका है मैं बस एक एक बात बोलूंगी कि वेन आई हैव स्टार्टेड माई जर्नी मीन्स एज ए जॉब वेन आई हैव स्टार्टेड माई फर्स्ट जॉब इन द ईयर 2011 After completion of MCA, after completion of MCA, when I started my job, then my salary was three thousand three hundred, three thousand. Actually, I was getting three thousand. I was getting three thousand at that time. Okay. But uh, after getting knowledge, after gathering knowledge and all, not only knowledge, not only subject-based knowledge. you have to get you have to improve yourself everywhere if you are learning only then you cannot earn more if you want to earn more with the learning you have to learn that how i can grow how to grow that is also important in your life your communication skill your intelligence level how you can express where you can grow first try to identify yourself that is also important so i can say that yes now now in unify study i am giving salary to those person those who are working me with me uh, more than uh, some times more exactly which times more i cannot say but it is more 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 than this it is more 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 than this so Yes, sir. I was feeling happy when I uh, give that salary to someone. So uh, it is more than this. So so many times more than. So I was feeling happy. Yes, 2011, my salary was three thousand. But I am now able to pay someone some times more. Exactly which times more I cannot say, but some times more. and that is possible it is possible it is possible when you have that knowledge you not only knowledge it you have something extra you have to establish yourself that is very very important if you are not able to establish yourself in somewhere you are doing job or you are doing something different always you have to be focused okay always you have to be focused so if you are not focused then it's not possible ठीक है ओके चलो ऐश्वर्या वैश्वर्या दैट दैट डिस्काउंट वाज गोइंग ऑन बट आई थिंक यू मिस्ड इट दैट डिस्काउंट वाज गोइंग ऑन दोस हु टुक वन सब्सक्रिप्शन दैट फ्लैट 500 न्यू दिस कूपन फ्लैट 500 न्यू दिस कूपन चेक इट वंस I will active this coupon. Uh, no, it was. I think it is the end. Flat five hundred new. This coupon was going on previously, but now it is end. At that time, I told those who took previously, you can take five five hundred discount. You can take, but now it's over. Now you have to pay. That time I inform everyone. And now it is. Now date is over. so here now go for the instruction cycle okay come back here and come back to learn so now go for this one fetch instruction from the memory decode the instruction read the effective address from memory and execute the instruction okay so these are the instruction as i as i told you already yes as i told you already now the next one next one is here we will go for the 
हाँ इंस्ट्रक्शन साइज ऑफ कोड इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑलरेडी डन नाउ ट्राई टू डू दिस क्वेश्चन दिस इज अनदर न्यूमेरिकल क्वेश्चन कंसिडर ए प्रोसेसर विद सिक्सटी फोर रजिस्टर एंड एन इंस्ट्रक्शन सेट ऑफ साइज ट्वेल्व Each instruction has five distinct field, namely the opcode, two source register identifier, one destination register identifier, and twelve bit immediate value. Each instruction must store the memory in byte aligned fashion. Now, if the program has hundred instruction. then the amount of memory consumed by the program what will be the answer tell me yes vaisharya when you took you got it right 500 discount now no discount is there at that time it was there but at the time i gave the offer to everyone now all the discount is over now everything is over okay now tell me what will be the answer okay answers are coming from nishu only nishu is giving answer what about others okay yes so option d is the correct answer those who are telling option d they are correct how to do it see that here part by part you have to think instruction consists of operand it was given the size is 12 right out of that 4 bit required for each and every so that's why 2 to the power 4 means 16 total 64 register there 64 means 2 to the power 6 is 64 so ultimately 6 bit will be required for the register now instruction contain 3 register Three register means three multiply sixteen. That is eighteen bit definitely. Now twelve bit are required for immediate values are given. Twelve bit for immediate values that is already given. So what will be the total? Four plus eighteen plus twelve. From here I count it right. Here is four. From here I get eighteen and from here it was given already twelve. That is total thirty four bit. Now here. it is 34 bit but my option is given in byte you can see here that memory in byte option is given in byte right so i have to convert in byte as a 34 bit 2 to the power uh, means 4 uh, byte 4 byte means actually 32 right but i need 34 so definitely i have to go for 5 byte because uh, although 2 bit is extra but for that 2 bit i have to go for 5 byte because it is 32 bit only right that's why i have to go for 5 byte so that's why i have to go for i uh, upper bound upper bound is 5 byte only now there are total 100 instruction so 100 multiply into 5 that will be 500 byte 100 multiply 5 means that will be 500 byte so that's why my answer will be 500 byte clear is that clear to everyone okay now i am going for the next topic that is addressing mode okay 
addressing mode this type of question you can practice they are asking this type of question so now do the addressing mode how the addressing mode is required this is very 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 important addressing mode chapter is very important and within 10 minute it will be clear to you if you are focusing on me the focus is very very important if you are not focusing you cannot understand anything if you are focusing then you can understand everything okay all of you please focus addressing mode can give you minimum 2 marks maximum 10 marks it can be because as you know in UGC net comprehension types questions are coming comprehension type means 5 question 5 into 2 that is 10 right 5 question means 5 into 2 that is 10 so 10 marks can be there this is a topic from where you can get this question okay everyone please concentrate so why the addressing mode what is the importance of addressing mode importance of addressing mode is there each and every instruction have a address part right now the address part is my direct data or i have to do one reference or i have to do two reference is it there in register or it is there in memory how the machine will understand it can be stored in different different way and for that the different different types of access is also required that will be defined by the addressing mode cpu will check the addressing mode after checking the addressing mode cpu will understand that okay i have to fetch my data my effective address this is the required the effective address calculation my effective address I can get in this way that is the importance of addressing mode the addressing mode term refer the way in which the operand of the instruction is specified how you can get the data okay so now see how you can get it and how it will be possible so the fetch the instruction decode the instruction these are the instruction cycle already you know now here is the some terminology starting address effective address starting address means from where you are starting effective address means exactly after calculation exact value that is your effective address displacement it is a 8 bit or 16 bit immediate value can be given into the instruction base means base register index means index register these are some required now here I am going to tell you all types of addressing mode. First one is implied. Implied means it is not required to access the data separately. Implicitly with the instruction, instruction itself will tell you what to do. Not required. Any, any extra operation, any extra data is also not required instruction itself is telling you that what to do like that cmp compare complement these are the some operation compare complement what is telling you that complement compare not we can think like that complement okay so complement for this complement there is the uh, opcode there is a opcode also with that opcode complement itself will tell you that whatever value is there in the accumulator just complement that data whatever value is there in the accumulator just complement that data that is called implied addressing mode means no need to mention anything instruction itself telling you what to do stack addressing mode means you are taking the your data for operation from the top of the stack it is also predefined in the top of the stack only your data is present immediate addressing mode immediate addressing mode means that is the immediate value like if i am writing at 20 this 20 is my value 
whatever add operation i will do i will do with this 20 only it is my value itself where is another one another one will be in accumulator maybe in accumulator value is 40 40 plus 20 your result will be 60 directly you can do the result okay is that okay now after that direct addressing mode direct addressing mode means what is direct addressing mode direct addressing mode means what that you are directly giving direct addressing mode means here if it is given add add then maybe here it is something is given to 20 this 20 is not your data you have to go to the address 20 in the address 20 maybe something extra is given maybe 70 is there this will be your data it is not your data that is the direct addressing mode okay indirect addressing mode indirect means here is add after that here was 20 now 20 to definitely not i have to go to 20 here was 70 now i have to go to the memory location 70 there may be something 100 is there this 100 is my ultimate data effective address will be here 70 two memory references required here here not only one two memory references required two times you have to do then only it is possible is that clear till now till now what is the difference between implied immediate and direct indirect this four is clear to everyone write down in the chat box what you understand what is the difference between implied immediate direct and indirect write down in the chat box everyone write down in the chat box what you understand Tell me. Tell me, tell me in the chat box. Write down in the chat box, everyone. But you understand, write down in the chat box. Indirect to memory reference, yes. Immediate, opcode, implied. Opcode itself, opcode itself will be there, not opcode itself will tell you how, what you have to do. There is no extra thing is required. Okay, now I can see, yes, immediate data is the operand, implied, no need, immediate data, present, immediate, direct, indirect, what is the difference between direct and indirect? Yes, all are writing here, yes, this is the implied one, you can see the complement of the accumulator whenever i am going for the instruction of complement of the accumulator then i will do directly i will do the directly okay complement the accumulator directly will be done okay here the add stack i am going to do the add add will be done from the top of the stack it will pop out two symbols and it will do the add operation here you can see the immediate when I am doing the immediate. Immediate means add 10. 10 is the immediate value itself. It is the immediate value itself. That's why it is immediate addressing mode. Direct addressing mode. Direct means I am doing one memory reference. One reference is required. That is called direct. Right. 
indirect means two memory reference i am going here after that i am coming here that is the two memory reference are required and the symbols are also very important try to remember the symbols also here you can see the symbol is hash hash means immediate remember that sometimes maybe question can be given with symbol that it is given like that right m o v m o v r hash 20 hash 20 means it is the immediate value it will be the immediate value okay here you can see the symbol is third bracket one third bracket if it is given means okay it is the direct address one memory reference is required if it is given in two bracket two third bracket after that x means it is indirect two times memory reference is required sometimes with the symbol also question can be given okay now you can see here two types of indirect addressing modes are there one is memory indirect another is register indirect register indirect and memory indirect memory indirect means two times memory reference that is i am doing add 20 so i will go to 20 location in the 20 location maybe 50 is given again i have to go to location 50 then i will get the 70 means this is the two but register indirect means one register reference plus one memory reference one register reference and one memory reference means it is maybe add r1 means it will go to the register r1 in the register r1 maybe it is written 50 now it will go to the memory 50 and it will fetch the data this is the difference between the register indirect and memory indirect remember that very very important which one is called register indirect and which one is called memory indirect is that clear okay चलो नाउ हियर यू कैन सी दिस इज रजिस्टर इन डिरेक्ट नाउ यू कैन सी हियर गुड नाउ हियर रजिस्टर इन डिरेक्ट आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड हियर इट इज रिलेटिव नाउ देयर आर मोर थ्री वन इज रिलेटिव अनदर इज बेस अनदर इज इंडेक्स दिस ऑल थ्री आर सेम ऑल थ्री आर सेम in relative with the address part you will add the value of program counter whatever value of program counter i am going to add then i will get my effective address here with the address part we are adding the base register value what is the value of base register that will be added that is called base index register means with the address you are adding the index register value whatever there index register that is not ir index register value is there that will be added that's why it is called index but ultimate concept is same everyone is adding something extra you can see content of the program counter for the relative one you are getting it after that from the program counter you are adding then you will get the effective address how maybe here is 20 given here is program counter value is 100 then you will get 100 plus 20 that is 120 so you will go to the location 120 that will be your memory reference okay index contact plus address of the instruction base register content of the base register plus address of the instruction these three are same you are doing if you are doing mind map then easily you can remember this three will be always same just do the mind map and your answer is done clear is that clear yes clear to everyone i hope so next two is so what you understand what is relative what is index what is base write down in the comment section quickly
what is relative what is index and what is base write down in the comment section quickly write down quickly 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 write it down yes relative address relative address plus program counter then yes good very good now here it is a difference between auto increment auto increment and auto decrement one is auto increment another is auto decrement auto increment is post increment and auto decrement is pre decrement what is the meaning ma'am auto increment is post increment and auto decrement is pre decrement by here effective address for that no extra calculation required content of the register will be only there no extra calculation required but in the addressing mode after accessing the operand the content will be automatically incremented by the size of d that will be for the next okay the step of the size will be the operand and only one reference of the memory is required to fetch the operand it is not for the current one for the next one current one will be as it is whatever there in the address it will get from there only effective address will be that only after that it will be incremented and that's why it is called post increment you can remember that it is actually work as a post increment how it is you can see here the auto it is given 3300 so your effective address will be 3300 itself your effective address is 3300 itself after that this will be updated to 3302 after that this will be updated to 3302 that will be required for the next operand the next operand will be found in this 3302 current operand will be there but the next operand will be in the 3302 that is the thing and here that's why you can see the first operand will be fetched then it will be incremented but decrement is just opposite first you have to decrement that's why it is pre decrement first you have to decrement then you have to in get the effective address so first decrement will be done then it will depend on the access then it will be come okay that's why it is called pre decrement is that clear so you can see here 3302 it will be decremented to 3300 then this is my effective address. 3300 this is my effective address actually is that clear yes is that clear yeah okay so then tell me what will be the answer for this if it is clear then tell me what will be the answer for this do it quickly
do this then do this if it is clear then do it Tell me, tell me what will be the answer? Okay, answers are coming. Very good. Option 1 is the correct answer. Very good. Option 1 is the correct answer. How to do? 500 and 500 location. Instruction is stored into the 500. Address is stored into the 501 location. Your instruction and instruction address is like that. In the 500 location and in this 501 location. Okay. Now address field has the value of 400. Address field. Here the opcode is there. Here 400 is given. The processor register R1 is 200 here. Now match the addressing. Here now you have to match it. How to match? First of all the direct. What is the direct one? Direct one means here I can see that in this address field it is my opcode. And in the opcode here it is 400 actually. Because it is stored in the location 500, location 501, but opcode value, operand value is 400. So it will go to the location 400. So your effective address will be 400 definitely. That's why 400. Register indirect. Here this is the register value. 200. Now it will go to the location 200. That's why it is register indirect. First it will go to R1, then it will go to the location 200. So two times. That's why it is register indirect. Index with R1 as a index register. So here the value is already 400 plus the index register as R1 that is 200. So 200 that will be 600. So it will go to the location 600 now. Effective address is 600 itself. Relative. What will be the value of program counter? Program counter is always storing the address of next. This is already here. Now next will be in 502. Program counter will point to 502. So the value of the program counter will be 502. And that's why your answer will be now. Here the value was already 400 plus 502 that is 902 so your answer will be 902 that's why your answer is here 902 is that clear is that clear to everyone yes clear so must practice these questions must practice these questions here tell me what will be the answer for this one Tell me what will be the answer for this one. The dash address mode similar to the register indirect addressing mode except the offset added to the content of the register. The offset of the register are specified in the instruction. What will be the answer for this one? Okay, answers are coming. Here the answer will be displacement. 
because here it is given see that except that the offset is added to the content of the register offset is added to the content of the register where we are adding in the displacement the displacement addressing mode is the similar to the register indirect except it is adding that is the base index is a displacement got it clear is that clear okay acha now tell me this one do this one quickly do this one i am coming in one minute okay answer came i can see actually sorry uh, my daughter is not well as you know so that's why some problems are there sorry so here the consider this auto increment auto increment addressing mode is the self relocating code no auto increment is not relocating this self relocating means which uh, which is relocating self operation in different area so it is not the self relocating code the auto increment addressing mode arithmetic here extra alu required no 
additional not required as i told it is the post increment right post increment means what first of all whatever is there that will be my effective address for effective address calculation no extra operation is required it will be extra next so it is not for effective address that's why this is also wrong auto increment addressing mode amount of increment depending on the size of the data this is correct so that's why option 3 will be the correct okay clear is that clear yes hi varat so now tell me what will be the answer here which type of addressing mode less number of memory reference required less number of memory reference required what will be the answer yes so here the answer will be what less number of so that's why implied to definitely there is no memory reference required in implied no memory reference is required this is the best answer implied is the best answer but why you are telling option 3 those who are telling option 3 register they are also correct because here in the register we need to go for register it is not the memory okay so that's why register can also be the answer but i will suggest go for implied only because implied is the most perfect answer most perfect answer will be no memory reference no memory number of memory reference is required less less number of because implied there is no memory reference required so answer will be implied okay yes so these are some home tasks for you you can do that i am not asking you the question now here this is a special home task for you this is definitely do it and the answer is there in the video there is a one video detailed video of addressing mode and i will share you the link also definitely watch that video and you can get the answer but it will take some time first of all i will suggest you those who know for them it's okay those who don't know must try it this is a home task must try it. after that if you are not able to do then only you can watch the video of addressing mode in this channel only addressing mode video is there i will add this into the computer architecture uh, list and the and it will be available in your 45 days crash course also i will add that video in this 45 days crash course so must do it okay first try it if after that if you are not getting then you can watch the video then only you can watch the video i explain that very clearly now here it is memory hierarchy and cache memory this is very very important as i told memory hierarchy to already we know that there is the mem in memory internal memory primary memory secondary memory how it is working already i discuss right here there will be the cpu after the cpu there will be the cache cache memory cache memory is taking the frequent access whatever frequently access data will be stored into the cache then there is the main memory then there will be the secondary memory this is the way how your computer organization means architecture is established right so here whenever there is cpu cpu is the taking from cache so here is no register inside that the register will be there okay here we did not put the register because here ultimately we will work on the cache how the cache is working that is the main purpose okay so here are the characteristics of the hierarchy will be designed into two way there are different different level can be also there 
Label 0 is the register. Label 1 is the L1 cache that is static RAM, S RAM. L2 cache that is also a static RAM. This is also. After that next one is the main memory that is DRAM, dynamic memory. Sometimes questions are coming from here also that cache is using dynamic RAM or static RAM. Always remember cache is using static RAM. Because in cache you are going to store those data what is not going to change frequently. You are using it frequently but it is not going to change frequently. Those data are only stored into the cache. That's why cache is using the static RAM. And main memory always frequently updating the data. And that's why it is using the DRAM that is dynamic memory. After that the local storage that is your hard disk, local disk. And finally the remote secondary means remote or secondary means that is distributed system, web server, you are storing something in server. This is the organization. Okay. This is the different different level. Level 0, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5. That is the normal memory organization. Now here are two types of access. One is called the parallel access. Another is hierarchical access. Okay. Parallel means CPU directly accessing each and every one. CPU will directly access. But here CPU is accessing only L1. CPU is connected with only L1. If it is not available, then it will go to L2. L1 will ask to L2. If it is not available, then only it will go to LN. If it is not available, then only it will go to LN. Okay. Otherwise, it is not going. So, that's why here access time is depending multiple time. You are going here, then going here. After that, it is sending data here. Then it is sending data here. So, definitely access time will be more. Then ultimately, CPU is getting but here CPU directly can get, directly CPU is connected. That's why access time will be faster. Is it or not? Yes. So here is the difference between the simultaneous access memory and the hierarchical access memory. Is that clear? Is that clear? If you are interested to go ahead more, then after the CPU cache also we can go ahead. Otherwise if you are not interested then I can end the session and I can give you the video link also for cache mapping and all. These are the classes already I took previously also. So those link I can add in the 45 days session and you can watch that also. If you are interested then definitely I can do. depending on your interest is that clear yes okay okay so here you can see that's why the access memory time will be here in the simultaneous access directly H1 into T1, 1 minus H1, then H2 into T2. But here what it will be 1 H1 into T1, 1 minus H2, then H2, then T1 plus T2 because it's depending. Because the dependency is here, you need the both access time you are wasting here. You are wasting here, right? both access time you are wasting here right okay those who are interested please share with your friend that yes class is going on tell them to the ask come come to the class tell them to come to the class tell them to come to the class okay so that we can continue it okay you can share you can share
okay then do it here you can see that this is the cache memory here cpu primary memory and secondary memory this is the already i told level 1 level 2 here ultimately numericals are coming from here cache miss penalty cache heat penalty how the heat and miss penalty miss penalty means whenever there is not heat the in the cache because cache is a very small area and you cannot save everything into the cache there is a big program maybe the program is a 100 kb program but maybe your cache size is 10 kb for example so definitely you cannot save each and everything into the cache some of the things will be not there and whenever it is not available into the cache then definitely it will be the miss definitely there will be the miss okay so how to calculate the miss and how to calculate the heat here this is the level 1 level 2 cache you can see here this is the heat ratio heat ratio means heat by heat plus miss so number of heat divided by total number of access and effective access time how to calculate heat rate multiply into cache access time plus miss rate in multiply into lower level access time that will be your effective access time right and how to calculate the average access time for the multi-level cache very very important questions are coming from here already they repeat two to three times questions so here average cache mapping is level one heat rate that is level one access time plus level one miss rate because out of 100 maybe my target is i am searching for 100 pages out of 100 pages maybe 60 pages are available 60 data are available into the level one now remaining 40 is not available that's why this is my miss rate out of that out of 40 maybe 20 is available here that is the heat rate then heat rate access time then finally i will go to the last level that is level one miss rate level 2 miss rate multiply into main memory access time and always in the last level that is main memory data heat rate will be 1 because it will be obviously there it is not in level 1 it's okay it is not in level 2 that is also possible but definitely it should be in the last level that is main memory and always that heat, heat ratio will be always 1 so this is your formula now i am going to ask you the question on this formula write down the formula so that i can ask you the question okay okay please write it down okay now do this one this is the question on cash do it do this one what will be the answer for this Answer, answer, tell me the answer. Tell me the answer. Those who are watching, tell me the answer.
what will be the answer okay nivedita answers are coming yes so how to do it how to do that here has just now i told you what to do here you can see average access time level 1 heat rate this formula will be more easy for you level 1 heat rate level 1 access time then level 1 miss rate that is level 2 heat rate then level 2 access time then level 1 miss rate level 2 miss rate then main memory access time right just level 1 level 2 then main memory access time so here 0.7 as per the question it was given to you here it was given to you 0.7 and 0.8 so that's why your answer will be what 0.7 multiply into 0.5 0.3 multiply into this this is the miss ratio 0 1 minus 0.7 then hit then access time here now level 1 miss level 2 miss multiply into 100 that is access time so total will be this one and be careful at the time of calculation of fraction most of the time students are doing mistake at the time of calculation they are writing like that 0.7 multiply into 0.5 that is 3.5 don't do that type of mistake please be careful about that so after that ultimately you are getting this answer so your answer will be this one 7.55 right i hope it's clear so this is another home task for you must do that here same type of question must try it all you can see it is gate is row they repeated so net also they can repeat so it is home task for you must try it okay i am showing you the answer but must pause the video then do it the or you can check later but don't don't miss it okay so here your answer will be this one now now try this one can you try this one coa there are lots of numericals are coming okay coa always numericals they are asking what will be the answer do it okay answers are coming answers okay here the consider a two level cache hierarchy l1 and l2 cache and application incurs in 0.4 memory access per instruction on average now for this application the miss rate of l1 is given and l2 cache is also given so 7 per 1000 instruction so miss rate of l2 express you have to miss rate of l2 what it will be so how to do it here you can see 1000 instruction was generated right now you can see here as per the question it was given that 
कि वट विल बी द मिस रेट हेयर एज पर थाउजेंड इंस्ट्रक्शन वन फोर जीरो जीरो मेमोरी रेफरेंस विल बी देयर पर हंड्रेड इंस्ट्रक्शन बिकॉज इन द क्वेश्चन ओनली इट इज गिवेन सी दैट वन पॉइंट फोर मेमोरी एक्सेस वन पॉइंट फोर मेमोरी एक्सेस इज गोइंग ऑन राइट वन पॉइंट फोर मेमोरी एक्सेस मीन्स हेयर इफ आई एम डूइंग थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाई इन टू वन पॉइंट फोर सो दैट इज एक्चुअली फोर देन थाउजेंड इज इट और नॉट येस सो दैट बाई पॉइंट विल बी देयर सो इट इज फोर्टीन हंड्रेड सो पार थाउजेंड इंस्ट्रक्शन देयर विल बी फोर्टीन हंड्रेड मेमोरी रेफरेंस राइट नाउ फोर्टीन हंड्रेड मेमोरी रेफरेंस आउट ऑफ दैट आउट ऑफ दैट देर इज द मिस मिस ऑल्सो गिवेन हेयर इन द लेवल वन जीरो पॉइंट वन मिस इट वॉज गिवेन सो इफ इट इज जीरो पॉइंट वन मिस इन द लेवल वन then after that if i am taking that miss rate equals to x then it was given that 7 miss ultimately 7 miss per 1000 instruction so i don't know what is this rate this is unknown to me but here i know that this is 7 now i can calculate it that the miss will be memory reference generated by l2 divide by memory reference generated by l1 That is seven by one forty. Definitely, I can do seven by one forty. So my answer will be this one. It is actually one forty. It will be one forty, right? Because zero point one miss rate. So it will be seven by one forty. So my answer will be this one, right? Or I can do another way also. Alternative way is also there. Another way. That is, I can see 1.4 memory reference are required access time. So for thousand, there will be 1400 access will be needed. Now number of miss will be there in L2 for thousand instruction. That is seven by 1400. That will be 0.005. Now miss rate of L2 equals to miss occurred into L2 by miss rate of L1. So that will be 0.005 divided by 0.1. So then also I can get the answer 0.05. Both way you can do, but I will suggest this is the alternative way that is better. This is more better. So you can go for it. This is more better way, right? Is that clear? Is that clear? is that clear to everyone yes chalo acha i can see that most of the learners are only 38 learners are here till now and it's okay very good those who are watching till now the cache mapping technique i think i took previously just let me check once i am giving you the link yes the cache mapping technique there is already conflict miss compulsory miss and this all the cache mapping every questions are there so every concept i did also previously so i am adding this link with this playlist and i am giving you also the link those who want to continue the class for them definitely you can go for these videos okay you can go for these videos those who those who are telling that ma'am continue because see that whenever um, i am also your interest my interest is coming from your interest only so if i am ready to take the class then definitely students also should be there but i can see most of the students are not there till now so normally students are also not watching till the end because you don't have that much patience so those who want to do for them i am giving this link okay here you can see i give you the link also for the cache mapping technique this is also a very very important and i am giving you the addressing mode link also and these are the classes i will add here i will add here in this 45 days crash course only addressing mode video also i am giving you
ओके एड्रेसिंग मोड तो आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन ऑलरेडी बट देर वॉज ए वीडियो बट आई विल सर्च दैट बट कैश मैपिंग ऑलरेडी आई शेयर यू ट्राई टू वॉच दैट कैश मैपिंग क्लास मस्ट वॉच इट एंड आफ्टर द कैश मैपिंग यू नीड समथिंग दिज ऑल द डिरेक्ट कैश मैपिंग ऑल दिज आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फुल्ली एसोसिएटिव कैश मैपिंग सेट एसोसिएटिव कैश मैपिंग वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट मस्ट वॉच द क्लास डोंट मिस इट फ्रॉम हेयर ऑल्सो टेन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन कैन कम फ्रॉम हेयर ऑल्सो इट इज द हाई चांस यू कैन गेट द टेन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन ओके एंड आफ्टर कैश मैपिंग हेयर द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज देयर दैट इज द एट जीरो एट फाइव एंड पाइप लाइनिंग पाइप लाइनिंग पाइप लाइनिंग फॉर द पाइप लाइनिंग आई विल अरेंज ए क्लास only for pipelining where i will discuss about pipelining i will arrange that and the 8085 also 8085 programming also i will arrange a class after the pipelining there will be the 8085 uh, part means the assembly language part for the assembly language part also i will arrange a class so two class i will arrange for you so that your total questions will be done total concept will be done for coa but whatever video whatever link i am sharing these links are very very important must must complete those from the link because these are the classes i dedicatedly took the classes for coa and these classes are very helpful classes whatever pending was there that i did but i thought that okay if there is uh, students are okay with that then definitely i can continue but here now as per the situation i am taking the decision okay i am giving you the link you can watch the class okay i hope that will be better those who wants to learn from them those who wants to learn for them it will be better okay theek hai ma'am in unify study app one cs class is going on Which CS class? Which CS class is going on? Who da is a? Which CS class is going on? Who da is a? Which CS class? In Unify Study app, PYQS. Who is taking? I am to here. Acha one. ha 5:30 am yes 5:30 am i am taking class i was thinking that who is taking class now yes 5:30 am that is the pyq is going on ha 5:30 am pyq is going on 5:30 am to 7 i am taking the class for the pyq is this is the course this is the course going on on unify study app okay yes on unify study app this is the course going on must go through it okay and i will add these all the classes in the link of the 45 days crash course and the coa playlist also in the coa playlist also uh, that is whatever i was telling and those who are interested for taking the pyqs course definitely you can go for it ha huh, for paid learner this is for the paid learner this course is for the paid learner okay bye bye everyone see you again tomorrow i hope uh, my home situation will be fine just pray for my daughter so that she will be fine whenever she is fine then i can do everything properly if she is not fine then some all the planning is going on chopat ho jate hai sab plan to just whenever she will be fine i will be fine also okay